I've just read The Promised Neverlands, chapter 25. We're half, ch fuck, we're 25 chapters away from 50. We are in the 25, we're at 25 chapters in. 26 if you include this ep that extra chapter. And my god, has this chapter of The Promised Neverlands gone really intense. Continues off exactly, and I mean exactly, where last week's chapter left off. And if you catch my review, you know how much I love that chapter of The Promised Neverlands. Now, 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 this is where, this is where it gets all intense, greatly intense. Now, Mama came up talking to them how much they, she loves it, how much she cares it, and that happened. This is the first time she wants to pretty much be formal, how, how she's just the farmer. And the children are her animals that she is raising and looking after them before they get sent off to be produce. Now, Emma and Norman introduce that while they're here, what's happened to Don Gilden, and everything like that. And then they all decide that, oh, that means we're going to stop being good little kids from Norman's side of things and everything. So, Emma attacked Mama, Elizabeth. I should really start just calling Mama Elizabeth at this point because... We found out her real name, so I better start using it for the remainder of these reviews. And this is where everything has gotten interesting. Very interesting. Definitely the last few pages of this chapter has definitely risen, should I say, into intensifying groundness that is this chapter. Now. You might be wondering why with the sudden hand gestures that I'm doing like this. Well, I think I was trying to spice it up a little bit. But at the same time, it does sound like I'm acting and seeming like I'm reading from script. No, that's not the case. This is, there is a script in my mind of what I want to say and everything about this chapter has just intensified greatly, imaginably. Up in the air that how this chapter ended was just amazing. Just intenses. And I'm on that last page now. Where, rock with Ray coming and seeing Emma hurt, Mama hurt her leg, broke a broke her leg, bruised it. Somehow, she, Mama has is Elizabeth have these Isabella, yes Isabella that's her name, has has managed to hurt her Emma's leg to the point where she announces their new shipping date. She says, I had a con I, I was contacted by headquarters just recently saying that your shipping date has been decided. It's not going to be next month, it's not going to be where. It is tomorrow. In the Promised Neverland's world, it is tomorrow. Now, this is a revelation. This is the greatest thing that's going to happen now. This is the major dealing. Emma, according to Elizabeth, Isabella, cannot move now until for a while. She can't move. So, so them trying to escape has really been foiled. But the end of the engagement didn't go well. No, because Norman stopped because he's going to just keep on trying to protect everybody, protect their brothers and sisters that they call brothers and sisters at this point. Now, this and everything. This has been really intense. How they introduced everything within this chapter. Mama actually planned everything. Done this it deliberately, planned it, everything, even to stop them from actually going rogue and everything. To make sure they, Emma, Ray, Don, Gilda, I think are now included in the shipping, they are going to be shipped off now tomorrow. But not tomorrow, they're in next week's chapter. Or or in a few chapters' time. But is that the conclusion of the arc? Or is it nearing the first big boss battle? climax of this arc. Remember, shonen mangas have arc endings. Big bosses like Alabaster Arc. We had had Crocodile. East Blue, the introduction arc of One Piece, that is the East Blue arc. Uh, we had the Arlong Park arc where Nami officially properly joins the crew. Crew. Take it as you will. You can say that she officially joined in the second chapter, third chapter of the manga, but but she didn't. She was doing it just to, if you know the story of One Piece, she actually manipulate, being manipulative, and then went while they were at the Bronte, Bronte. So there's that, and she officially joined once, and Luffy beat the crap out of those. 
we had Ryakio and Renji first introduced introduced at the end of the first arc of Bleach. Bleach, and they were technically somewhat the first big bang guys at the end of that arc. To what then led into the rescue Rukia arc that then entered their nose. This is getting to the first of their first major arc coming to a conclusion. It's reaching its climax. Now, what's going to be in their first big bad in this climax? A lot of things. A lot of different things and we don't know what it's going to be. It literally has come to the point where everything can be very manipulative as we speak. Now that doesn't mean everything's going to go to my, uh, uh, Isabella's way. It could still fall apart even on the shipping date. They will have to really hurry or something because Emma can't really move. So they have to either escape with Emma with her, her, her leg and try and do something once they pass the wall. They have to come up with something. That is where this chapter really resides. Really great build up to reaching the conclusion. It's not by the conclusion yet. It's getting there. It is really getting there. And that is what I love about this story, this arc. At the moment, this escape arc, this could be their first, the first arc of their first major fail. The big escape has failed in this first thing, or they could still manage to do the escape and it end up being what it is. That is the big problem here. Now, we can continue on of wherever it goes afterwards, but other than that, this has been, yet again, a great chapter. And I really do mean a great chapter. I really did enjoy it. There was... The art was on point yet again, yet again, and I cannot wait for chapter 26. And I know I've been promising the extra chapter, but that's not going to happen now. Because I just got really back into the series, and I love this chapter as much. Maybe it's just the fanboy in me, but I love the promised Neverlands. I love it. I have reviewed, and you must check out all my other reviews. I have reviewed at all 25 chapters. As of this video, I have reviewed all 25 chapters, minus the extra chapter that will come, that might be a bonus video, video, whatever. But I have reviewed all 25 chapters. I did my first double chapter review because I've missed two weeks. So I reviewed both in that one video, but treated them, both reviews treated as they were two single reviews. And I spliced them together for, for the video and everything. But this, this is a great series. If you haven't been reading it, if you haven't been checking it out, go and check it out. The Promised Neverland. And also big news, the second volume is coming out soon in Japan. So hopefully Viz Media, Viz Media will be looking into releasing those two the first two volumes outside into the US. And I'll be trying to pick those up as well to support the official releases. So as always, as always, this has been Kai from Kaizo Teiku Corner. Member of the Double O Club, Club. And hopefully you guys enjoy. Please, like always, comment down below your thoughts on this of this week's chapter. And check out my other videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. See ya. Check out my last videos if you want to see more. Please subscribe if you haven't at, at any point as well. And if you want to keep up to date, just like I said, subscribe. Like this video as well. Also, my last two videos, recent, the playlist and the recent video from last week is also available to check out and you can click them around about here as well. But, like always, I'll see you next time. Bye.